in this video we will talk about operators operators are special symbols that represent computations like addition and multiplication the values the operator is applied to are called operands okay so let's look at some examples so here addition operation is similar to the addition operation in mathematics so in mathematics addition look like this in python we write it like this okay so here f and 7 are operands and plus sign is the operator then subtraction in python look like this for multiplication we use a different symbol we use asterisk for multiplication so b asterisk m says it's similar to b multiplied by m okay for exponent also we have different notations we use two stars okay y the x double star y means x x raised to the power y okay so x double star y then division is given by the forward slash and flow division is given by two forward slash and remained operation is given by percentage sign so let's look at some examples of this ok let's go to create repeat let's create a one for python and you can give any name ok so for here for example if we want to look at the addition and do I use a print statement so you can see print 2 plus 5 sorry 2 plus 5 ok 2 plus 5 this will give us the addition ok and if you want multiplication we will do 8 minus 2 Okay, so this will give a multiplication so 8 minus 2 is 6 so here you can see we get a 6 okay and if we want to raise uh, multiply two numbers we can do star okay by multiplying 2 times 3 is 6 no okay if I want to raise 3 to the power 2 3 power 2 I use 2 stars ok so here 2 stars gives us 9 no so these operations uh, are for addition subtraction multiplication and exponent then let's look at division ok we can divide it uh, by 2 we should get 4 no so let's run it we get a 4 but we get a floating point answer ok even 8 divided by 2 we can get an integer value 4 uh, when you divide in python you get a floating point answer ok so remember that so if you divide let's say 9 by 2 will get 4.5 no so even when it's divided nicely as an integer with 0 remainder we get a floating point like when a divided by 2 ok uh, so what if we want an integer answer for situation like that ok we can use the flow division if it's divide with a remainder 0 we can use flow division here 
with two division forward slash and it will give an integer four okay but be careful here it's giving the floor division or the quotient okay so if we divide nine by two it will still give four okay because my portion of nine divided by two is four no so you have to be careful if you are using flow division okay it's not giving the whole answer it's giving the it's only giving the quotient okay and if you want integer division you can use the flow division integer value from the division you can use the flow division but you can use it only when it's divide with a zero remainder because otherwise it will give you a uh, quotient plot so be careful if you want the quotient you can always use that otherwise we can use this only situations where we divide with a zero division later we'll learn how to convert float to integers okay but for now remember that you can use this division in the case of integer answer get that integer answer so if we want the remainder of the division we can use the percentage sign for example 9 divided by 2 remainder is 1 no so here if we run that we'll get remainder 1 okay so this remainder is surprisingly useful in programming for example you can use this to say whether a number is divisible by another number for example if i do here 10 divided 10 remainder 5 so we'll get a zero remainder so if we get a zero remainder we know that 10 is divisible by 5 okay also we can use remainder operation to extract digits okay for example let's say i have one 112 if I do a 10 I can extract the last digit 2 you know, from this number by dividing by 10 if I divide by 100 I can uh, retrieve the 2 digits ok 1 and 2 and if I do divide by 1000 I can get all 3 digits ok so if I want a one digit, I will divide by, I will do the remainder of 10, not divide, sorry. Okay, and if I want two, I will do this remainder operation 100, I can get two digits, okay. So you can use remainder operation to extract digits from a number, that can be very useful. Also you can use it to tell whether a number is divisible by something, okay. So these are the operations that they that work with numbers okay so you might wonder whether they work with strings okay we can use this with strings also for example I can use the plus operator with two strings you can say string so I need to use single or double quotation so I will use see this red highlight is syntax highlighting I have syntax error here no that's why it's highlights in red so highlighting in red I do this plus Again, it's highlighting. I need to give it as a string. So this is why these editors are helpful. Okay, there are several you can see it before you are compiling because of syntax. Okay. So now, if I run this, see what happens. It's connect the two strings together. No, in other words, it's concatenating two strings. Okay. So we can use this plus sign to concatenate strings. Okay. If I want a space. I can 
give a space here okay um, but with multiplication I cannot use two strings okay so for multiplication Okay, again it's giving me a syntax error see okay and if you run it lighting no it's highlighting red right, saying there is a not okay so here it's saying so here we cannot multiply two strings okay that's why it's giving me a syntax error here so if we multiply a string we have to use a number here okay so I can use three star nadika okay so if i do this i have a space here also what will happen i will get nadika three times okay there is a space because there is a space here okay if i don't have this one i just get nadika 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 without the space okay so you can use these two operation with strings also okay so you saw how to use this operation with strings and numbers also we can definitely use this arithmetic operation with floating point numbers okay it's so you can use this operation with floating points numbers integers and then plus and multiplication with strings so we look at all these operations examples of all these operations plus minus multiplication exponential the division flow division and remainder okay remember that this remainder is useful when we want to say whether a number is divisible by another number or if we want to extract digits okay now we go to expression it's a expression is a combination of values variables and operations okay so a combination of values or variables and operations is a string okay value by itself also is a expression also a variable itself we call a expression for example of expression we can look at two two something like this sorry six is a expression okay you can evaluate see that if they get evaluated seven plus six is thirteen no also you can do with a variable for example I can say x equals five here and then I so this is a variable then I can construct it print takes sorry two star x minus five Okay. so if I run this this is again expression we can evaluate that and it will okay I think okay I didn't use the multiplication sign okay again you can see the syntax highlighting okay saying there is error and it gave me syntax error so I need this okay 2 star x minus 5 it's 5 no 2 times 10 minus 5 is 5 so here in math we can write this 2x but in python you cannot okay remember that you have to have the multiplication sign there okay so you can create expressions by combining variables and 
operations and values okay so here 2 is a value x is a variable okay 5 is also a value okay and 2 is a value sometimes we call them difference okay okay now uh, now uh, it's there is something important to recall okay the operate order of operations okay so when there is a one more than one operator in an expression python evaluates is the way we do it in normal mathematics okay if you you call if you recall uh, we use word pimdas to uh, no acronym num to remember the order of rules so we have parenthesis exponent then multiplication and division goes together they have the same priority and addition and subtraction have the same priority but multiplication and division comes before addition and subtraction okay remember that okay so first priority is for parenthesis then next priority is for exponent exponents then multiplication and division have a higher priority than addition and subtraction but multiplication and division have the same precedence okay which is higher than addition and subtraction addition and subtraction addition and subtraction have the same uh, precedence okay so if we run into operator with same precedence we they are evaluated from left to right okay so let's look at some more examples again okay uh, here we have this one okay so for example let's let's look at this statement okay So here how this evaluated first we evaluate the multiplication because multiplication has the higher precedent okay precedence okay so here first we get 4 times 2 8 and then we get 4 times 2 8 and then we evaluate the subtraction okay 8 minus 2 we get 6 okay so if we run here we also get 6 okay uh, so if you look at another one let's say I have 4 divided by 2 print, print. let's say 5 minus 5 minus minus 4 divided by 2 okay so if I do this first I have to do division no so if I do the division first 4 divided by 2 I get a floating point 2 then 5 minus 2 I should get 3 okay if you do the 4 minus 5 you will get 1 divided by 2 half no that is a different answer okay 0.5 okay but we do the division first and then do the subtraction okay so if you run here you can see you get a float in point 3 you get the float value because this will return a float so everything get converted to float okay so if you look at another example here let's do 10 10 dividend
to star times 4 okay so here first operation should be so here multiplication and division has the same precedence okay so first I have to do the leftmost operation 10 divided by 2 okay so to get 10 divided by 2 what is 10 divided by 2 5 5 times 4 I should get 20 okay see you get a 20 if we do the multiplication first I get 10 divided by 8 okay so that is not a whole number no so remember that we can change this order by using uh, parentheses okay if I want to change the order I can use parentheses this way multiplication will go first okay so if you are not sure of the PIMDAS order you, you can make sure it goes things goes in the order you want by using multiplication so if I do this I get 1.25 no because multiplication goes now first so this is a good point to introduce another editor or IDE okay we'll go to this one Tony okay. this Python IDE you can download it okay here you have it for Windows Mac and Linux okay so you can download it and install it okay I have already installed it so I'll go for that one So here you can see that this one I can go at four divided by two turn it to five okay this one now if you execute this one it will give zero okay so I use the percentage sorry I should use division mark okay so 4 divided by 2 times 5 okay so this should give uh, 10 okay because 4 divided by 2 is 2 2 times 5 is 10 no so if you want to see the order this operation is you can use this click on debug okay this bug sign on Tony editor and this one okay it goes by step by step okay step okay step by step so we will start by selecting the print step trying to execute the print statement then it goes to inside one okay so it's start trying to start by the print statement so it should ex execute the inside one now it's going to do the division first okay because it's the leftmost operation now it will identify two in operands as integers here then it will do the division first okay see it's do the division first <coughs> then multiply by 5 10 okay <coughs> so if you want to see how another one is executed Let's do 5 plus 4 divided by 2 plus 3 star 2. Okay. <coughs> so, so here first we will go to the division and multiplications because they have the higher precedence then because multiplication is the lowest we will left we will start by multiplication okay so here again let's go for debug one okay still we are in the previous debug one so i will stop let's go to debug one okay so on we are going to execute the print statement so we go to the inside of print okay 
okay sorry we went to the previous one no? let me try again okay. this one stop let's try this divided by 2 plus 3 ok I missed the plus one. plus 3 star 2 ok so let's see how this is executed ok so we'll start by the print one so we'll go step so we start by trying to execute the print statement then we'll go and execute the inside the print okay now it will go for the division first so it's identifying okay so it will go to the division first now it will identify the operands as ints and then it will perform the division first okay now it will go to the multiplication now because multiplication has the higher precedence here multiplication identify the elements and then do the multiplication six now it will do the addition okay so that is how and then finally it will print the result nine okay so this is how it works okay so this is about operands so remember that they give goes in in the order but this multiplication and division has the same way the addition and subtraction has the same order so if you are not sure always you can use parenthesis to make sure it will go in the order you want okay so hope it's clear about this uh, operations and you can use with them uh, with strings also the plus and multiplication you can use it with strings also then also we covered what is expression okay uh, later we learn more about operations that are not arithmetic okay so we we'll stop here in this video